So I was browsing my For You page on TikTok and I came across a wild clip of this movie I had never even heard of. Girl, we've been knowing how to draw. Beatboxing puppy. Huh? <laughs> What the fuck was that? So I went to the comments and they were equally as shocked by the quality of this movie, but some people knew what it was. Apparently it's this free movie called Our Drawings on YouTube. My first thoughts was this has to be made by AI. But then I went to YouTube and in the description it says that this artist made this video because he wanted to, I guess, make a Disney quality movie. And he thinks he's reached that level of quality. And since this is the internet, he can't lie. It's not allowed. But then I saw another comment that said Danny Gonzalez should react to this video. But he hasn't done that yet, so you're gonna have to settle for this white guy. Anyway, the movie follows a character named Paige Foster who apparently has this pencil that allows her to draw things and they come to life. It also allows her to travel to this drawing universe of which she is the supreme leader. And they make sure to tell you that by giving you not one, not two, but three separate intros. You think that this movie is starting all at once, but it jumps between different periods of time. And when it alludes to something, it will do a flashback like this. One day, we all went on a quest to defeat an evil wizard on Adventure Island. I will destroy you, Page Faster. You will not win this battle. So anyway, this weird wizard is apparently evil and they have to defeat him because I guess he's gonna kill this puppy. I'm so much better than all you. You guys are so ugly. And Paige Foster comes in, does a front flip or something. And defeats him, I guess. And with the intros doing random flashbacks, I had to like piece together the plot of this film. For instance, the pencil she holds is revealed to be the pencil of intelligence. The pencil of intelligence. She hasn't always had this power. Apparently she got sick. And then this ability and this pencil just manifested and now she's all better. And then in one of the intros, we actually get to meet friends of Paige's. You're not the only artist. All three of us can actually draw. Allie digitally paints backgrounds as a freelancer. Hunter does concept art as a hobby for his social media accounts. And finally me, Mickey Warren, the notorious animator. As you can see, it's established that she is an art student and that this guy is really cool. Girl, we've been knowing how to draw. Beatboxing puppy. Huh? <laughs> You may think, huh, this piece of footage from the movie feels a little spliced in. There was no lead up to it. Well, that's because she just says beatboxing puppy and it appears and does this musical number. I'm the beatboxing puppy. I know you think it's funny. All the people know they love me. For an entire minute. But dare I say it's a bop. Let's all drink to this glorious day where a damn animal can talk. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bro, this guy is sick. He drinks. The art teacher must have been drinking with him because he is just out like a light. But no, the art teacher isn't dead. He is just exhausted. That's how we all look when we're exhausted. Anyway, they also then introduced that Paige has a sister and the sister was tracing her drawings, which made them come to life. And so I guess she's the villain of this film. And we know that Paige's sister is evil, not just because she traces, but she reveals that she works for this corporation that wants to steal art and feed it to an AI so that they can continue to reap the benefits off of artists. With the drawings you've revealed to me, I will compile them into a database and expose them to the real physical light. Sound like something anyone might do? Here behind the freezing wind is a song to sing and a lesson. I guess this is a, a musical. Didn't know I signed up for a musical. I guess I should have known with the whole beatboxing puppy thing. I'm the beatboxing puppy. You made a big mistake. Ah. Does anyone realize I'm a talking rock? I'm glad this movie has some action interlaced between. If it was just musicals, I wouldn't be down for it, but now I'm in. And just like that, we are back at the school. Nope, we, we get another intro. The doctor said she would recover eventually but that her future in sports would now be shaky. Okay, so Paige's illness was a form of paralysis that left her unable to use her leg and the pencil or the powers healed her? Oh, and in this intro, we actually get to see the first time that Paige entered this drawing landscape. And she did what any normal person would do in a world of their own making. She just jumps a lot. 
wish that footage was edited. Anyway, now we flash back to the high school and Paige brings her friends with her into this world and it's revealed that the pencil is the limitless pill. I'm sure you've heard that humans only use 10% of their brains, correct? Well, that's a myth. The truth is we only understand 10%. I've unlocked the missing pieces to the very delicate fractions of imagination itself. And then, because this movie doesn't like build-up at all, an evil ninja appears and, and kills a bunch of people, and you can tell he's evil because he has red eyes. We also get to meet Paige's friend. He's like this blue cartoon. You may remember him from the fight with the wizard. Kalobi, I've seen you before. Are you the man behind the mask? And no, I'm not gonna acknowledge the really good fashion sense he has. I mean, I wish I thought to wear an ice cream sandwich on my head. Well, this friend confronts the villain. We find out that apparently this bad guy is killing drawings to steal their energy. And he reveals that he's doing this so that he can create a better world. Surrender, and your sacrifice will help create a utopia that will benefit humanity. I'm gonna assume that this is the villain that sticks around. So anyway, the blue guy fights him, and they reuse scenes because this movie is AI, I think, probably. <laughs> but thankfully, before he's defeated, he escapes. Kalobi is now my drawing. I barely escaped with my life. That was a close one. But it wouldn't be our drawings without another intro, this time for the villain. Mist was an unknown drawing who had snuck into her world. Paige Foster had never seen this man before. No other human being had ever been inside of her art. Who could this man be, you may ask? So now that we have that intro out of the way, the blue guy is recruiting people to fight Mist, but not before one of these people that just screams. <laughs> uh... Makes me feel like I took an Ambien. Gets to sing a song. This is a musical. So anyway, the story feels too linear, so we're gonna cut to Miss killing a bunch of people with like a literal nuke. Evacuate! Behold, the, the power, power of the, of the first, first artist! artist. And it's revealed that he's actually using the power of the first drawing. And even though Paige and her friends just witnessed this stick figure genocide, you couldn't tell because the next scene is just them walking in this snowy place. I swear, this movie has loading screens. There are so many moments already where it's just people traveling to different places for long periods of time with music in the background. But it's night now, so they light a fire, and <laughs> if there's gonna be a fire, I'm gonna break out the brewskis. We do get kind of a romantic moment between Paige and one of her friends. If you had one wish, what would it be? Um, I don't know. Thanks, man. As you can easily see from this kind of risque scene. We gotta protect our peace out here. Whew. Things are heating up, but now it's morning and Paige is talking to her blue cartoon friend and it's revealed very suddenly, mind you, that Paige has family trauma. No, really, they're talking about just like, I, I guess they're talking about like existentialism, how life kind of sucks. And then Paige blurts out. Yeah, I guess you're right. You know, my dad hates me, right? <laughs> okay, trauma don't much. We do get some more lore though, although, <laughs> not an intro, that apparently the illness that Paige had made her lose the ability to walk and that during or before this time period, she was super prideful. At one point, a boy even wanted help and she didn't help him. You're right. I could have been more kind. I didn't even realize someone my age was in the same boat as me. I only avoided talking to him based on how he looked. Okay, totally valid reason, but before we move on, my bet is that the villain is this boy she didn't help. Also, it definitely feels like this movie is written by ChatGPT at least, because I know the creator said that he animated the whole thing, and I mean, you can't lie on the internet, but I don't believe that the script and the voice acting isn't AI. I mean, look at this. Allie, you know you love me. You wouldn't possibly let a puppy starve. So why don't you draw me up some treats to eat? Preferably a buffet, so my widow tummy wummy won't growl. Sadly, I work off commissions only. Sorry. 
Totally normal conversation, right? Although it's kind of been a while since our last song. I guess this maybe isn't a musical? Have you ever put ice cubes on your shoes? It would change your life! My calling is deep beneath the sea. Nope. There it is. Although Pentatonix could have done it better. But now the group needs to get some food, apparently. And there's like five minutes worth of scenes of them just saying they're gathering food or need to gather food. But that just yields like a few grains of blue rice. Just give me the food so I can hand it over to the humans. Here you go. That is two grains of stale rice, sir. What the hell is this? So I guess they're back to the drawing board. Now, that would be a really good name for a song. Back to the drawing board. It's a tablet without a cord. I'm gonna kill myself. So now the friends decide that they need to help Paige draw new characters for this big battle. And it's also revealed that this first drawing that Mist was drawing on the power from, <laughs> drawing and drawing. Good one, me. <laughs> hey, thanks, me. Anyway, it's revealed that this all-powerful first drawing is alone somewhere in the mountain. Apparently, he just wandered off at one point and hasn't come back. So they decide that they're gonna go find him in order to get this power and harness it to use it against Mist. And they do find him. I don't know if you've noticed, but everything in this movie kind of happens quickly and you might expect that he was some old man but no he's um well you came to the right place then bro kind of just a chill dude he then offers them a choice between money and water money that'll last you a lifetime or water a question that has plagued humanity for centuries. Big pile of money or levitating orb of water? Ugh, oh, decisions, decisions. Anyway, it is really funny because he has this long speech about which decision to make uh, that pretty much, he says nothing. He says nothing the entire time. Now, I know you're probably wondering about that water. Why would anyone choose it? Am I using reverse psychology on you? Nah. Water's water. But then he tells them that they need to say this phrase 10 times before they make their decision because I guess it'll help. But he proceeds to say the phrase over and over again. Before you make your choice, say this phrase 10 times after you made your selection. Wrist waters on my neck. Wrist waters on my neck. Wrist waters on my neck. Wrist waters on my- I don't have time for games. Come on, this has to be AI generated. If it's not, I'm, I'm refraining from saying something mean. Oh, and the guy also reveals that Paige's friends have been in this world too long. Apparently they're gonna turn into drawings, but that's never addressed again. He just says it and it's to add a layer of intensity, I guess. But I don't know. I guess the first plot hole I found with this whole movie. And you might think it's gonna reveal which decision this guy made, but no, we'd rather just cut to the next scene. <laughs> The pen it draws and holds my soul. Ah, I see why we had to get here quickly. We needed another song. But after the song, Mist shows up. I guess it's time for the final battle, but not before we reveal who Mist is. I've been watching you this entire time. The art teacher? I'll give him props. I didn't see it coming. It's a good plot twist. Anyway, the art teacher reveals that the reason he wants to create this new world is because in their world, artists are considered losers, or I guess that's his opinion. So he's going to make a world where artists reign supreme. But there's no time to discuss. It's time for the battle. And Blue Guy is fucking jacked now. Apparently the wizard is back, so Blue Guy has to make quick work of him. But then after easily defeating the wizard, Miss shows up. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Weren't we just watching Mist battle the group? It's so weird that he's showing up now all of a sudden and now we're gonna fight, but come on, keep up. Now it's time for the final fight. No, 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 not that one, this one. I know, easy to confuse the two. Paige and Miss then go into this, I guess, ethereal plane hovering around a black hole. And it's revealed that if Paige doesn't surrender her world and all the drawings in it, they're gonna plummet into the black hole and die. Oh, and this happens. Ah! Okay, I am tired of this. Let's finish this up. Blue guy kills everyone. Wrist water's on my neck! Moist starts to fly. The first drawing shows up. First drawing. 
you're back. He flies to New York, obviously. And there's a giant evil space whale. And then this happens. And then Paige flies around the city on a dolphin. Just say the words, I surrender my art. And this all goes away. And then she says, <laughs> That's, That's very, very moist. moist. Moisty. And very calmly, <laughs> Paige kills Mist. <laughs> But if you thought this was over, you're so far from it. I told you, I cannot be defeated. Art Style 72, Reversal of Time. After Art Style 72, Reversal of Time, Miss transforms back into the art teacher. And he's suddenly a good guy, he's changed. I no longer feel the urge to fight you, Paige. My heart is now free. I will spare you. And now that he survived, there's nothing else to do but turn himself into an ethereal being that will then visit all different artists who are having a hard time and give them hope. If you ever hear my voice again, know that it is my soul calling out to all artists to never give up. The end. No, seriously, it's the end. I mean, they rip off Pixar's logo here, furthering that I think this is like a self-reflecting movie. I think that it's legitimately made by AI and this guy thinks that he can pass this off as his own movie. It's definitely written by ChatGPT and voiced with AI voices. I personally don't know why anybody else would watch this movie. However, it is pretty wild. Maybe you should just get high with your friends, turn this on and see who seizes last. But there you go, I summarize this entire movie. Don't forget to subscribe and please never forget. Ah!